The case for LeBron James heading to the Houston Rockets next summer. Chris Paul had a reputation. He was tough to get along with. He could be kind of rigid. And he wasn't always a great teammate. And my takeaway is he's super smart and he was in a wildly dysfunctional organization with the Clippers. And they've gone into the tank since he left, and he's 10-0 with the Rockets since he arrived. People often get bad reputations because they are demanding and they are tough. And Blake Griffin is a flank, always has been. The Andre Jordan is a flank, the Clippers are flaky, and Doc Rivers is a good dude but nobody, you know, has been compared to Brad Stevens, some people think he's a great coach. I think he's got a knife for talent. But the point being is Chris Paul got a reputation as difficult. Well, not only judge somebody by what they do when they arrive somewhere, but what happens when they leave? When Jim Harbaugh left the 49ers, they've won 10 games total since he left 10 games total. It's not just what he does at Michigan. What happened to the organization? Didn't everybody call Harbaugh wacko? LeBron leaves Cleveland, 61 games, he leaves Cleveland. Isn't LeBron demanding? Chip Kelly at Oregon, people said Chip Kelly can be rough, Chip Kelly is very demanding. Chip Kelly, 44 and 7. He left, Oregon's on their third coach in three years. Some people get reputations as tough and demanding. And when you work with flakes and people who are historically goofy or average, you've got to sometimes be rough. LeBron was tough in Cleveland. Chip Kelly was tough at Oregon football. He wanted more. He was more demanding. Harbaugh was rough on the 49ers, they were a lousy franchise when he took them over. Chris Paul was leading a kind of flaky organization. He was a pain in the rear. Look at him since he's left, and look at what he's done in Houston. That leads me to the LeBron rumors. Sam Amick, USA Today, NBA guy, very good, we bring him on the show, says do the Houston Rockets have a shot at LeBron James in free agency? And he lays it out. And he said, it's not outlandish. The Rockets are recruiting with their play, is that they pass the ball, they don't ask for a ton of minutes from anybody, Harden and Chris Paul are smart guys who Chris Paul now is, you know, hell start the game with Harden, hell finish it, but they are not always on the court at the same time. Now that he's taken a subservient troll, but he's not demanding the marquee value, I think this works for LeBron. Listen. LeBron doesn't want to have to score 40 a night. I always said this about Kobe Bryant. When Kobe Bryant lost Shaq, between he and Pau Gasol, Kobe wants to score 25. But Kobe doesn't want to drive to the arena as Staples at the end of his career knowing he has to drop 37 to win. LeBron wants to drive to the arena knowing I can score 21 tonight and win. I don't want to have to score 38 and be perfect and win. And that's what LeBron has to do most of the time. And so this works. More they heard with Colin Cowherd videos.